ladies and Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, counting from Beckley's Camping Center today to show you the all new 2020. This is the A-Liner Family Edition by Columbia Northwest. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, but let's get onto this camper. Okay, so one of the really neat things, features with this is the fact that you have your kitchen on the outside. Let me show you what we're talking about there. So it's tucked right in under here. This is a bed on the inside. You just unlock, unlock it there, and this thing slides out. Now you also have a counter extension. And what you're gonna have is you're gonna have your Norco refrigerator freezer right there. And for operation on that, I'll link a video down below so you can see how to operate that. And then you have your two burner cooktop here, and you're gonna have storage down below here. Of course, as well as the counter extension. So that's right up in the front here. I want to give you a little bit better look at this. So this is your Norcold refrigerator freezer. You have the settings over there. And what I mean by a refrigerator freezer is this. You can set this thing as a freezer for this part, but then if you set things over here, this would be your refrigerator. So you're able to set that and use it in that manner. And I'll have that video linked down below on how to operate that as well. Of course, your two-burner cooktop, and then right in here, this was that storage. And then on the end, as you can see, you have your counter extension. So this is the slide-out kitchen. So behind this door, this is where you have your cassette potty. Uh, this is where you'd be pulling this thing out. And then you're able to take that over to the dump station and be able to empty it and clean it out. And then it just goes right back inside there. So looking on the front here, this is where they're gonna mount uh, two propane tanks as well as your battery. That spare tire will be put on the back. You're gonna notice that you have on all four corners, nice heavy duty stabilizers. And they are just stabilizers, they're not levelers like some people might uh, say that they are. So looking at the back here, this is where you're going to go ahead and they'll mount your tire right on this part of the bumper. And then down your off-door side, water heater. This will be your suburban water heater, fresh water tank fill, city water connection, electrical cord connection, furnace exhaust right there. Now for your sink on the inside, it'll drain right over here. You can connect the hose to that if you wanted to or just put a bucket there or something. And then right on the outside here is your outside shower. It does have hot and cold water. Beautiful thing about having this outside shower is you have unlimited height and unlimited width for those of you that may need that. Now for those of you that want a boondock, to extend your boondocking experience, you have a little um, Zamp solar plug right here and you can go ahead and get those suitcase style um, solar panels and they keep your battery, try to keep your battery a little bit better charged. So this is what the outside looks like on this side. Now you do have storage up in the front here and this is where you can go ahead and make it easier for you to get to your refrigerator. Basically this is where you turn it on and then you're going to set it according to if you're boondocking these switches it has one, two, and three that pertains to when it would cut off at what battery voltage. Very simple but you'd set your temperature mode at the top is what it would look like if you have it all put together like seating. And that is your table that would go in the back. And of course, now this one has the hard dormers. You do have the option to get the soft dormers or no dormers whatsoever. So in the back, underneath where your sofa, quote, bed would be, this is where you're gonna have your air conditioning. And you can see how it is ducted into the coach. Now it was 90 some degrees yesterday and I had this thing on and this thing cooled down in in a rather quick time frame. For roughly about 15 minutes it was very cool. Now on this side here you can see this is where your water heater is, your fresh water tank and the water pump. It's all in that right, right in that location. Now the center area is going to be storage and you have access for when the bed is in 
in, um, in place to get to it from here. So I wanted to go ahead and let you hear how loud this air conditioner will be. Now this is with the bed off of here. I'm also going to be leaving this on while I do the rest of the walkthrough here. Now, not only is this your air conditioner, that is a heat pump. So you have access to uh, heating this place uh, up a little bit, you know, in when it gets into chilly weather in the 50s and so forth. So there's the first portion that you put on. You can see how much quieter it got. Now the next thing we're going to put in place is the other board so that it will extend the bed. So this is what it looks like with the board that slides forward on top of there. Now when you make this the bed back here, that's what it would look like. Now the bed is 58 inches front to back and 82 inches side to side. So now this bed right here is going to be 72 inches in length by 37 and a half inches in width. And then your front bed, that's going to be 30 and a half inches wide by 82 inches in length. Now to run your air conditioner, you have this little Dometic thermostat right here. And I'll post a, a video uh, link down below on how to operate that. That does actually have a heat pump on it. Now you also have right here, you have a toilet. Now you're going to elect to not have the toilet. The benefit to that is that you will not have to run out to the bathhouse in the middle of the night. And then as you come in the door on the right hand side, you're going to have this is your, your sink here. And it keeps out of the way for when you're not using it. That way there you have that additional counter space. And then of course you can have storage down below here. Now when you're bringing this thing down, what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to go ahead and unlock your sides here. And then that'll bring down the front. You'll be able to fold that in. Next, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing for back here. So bring those down. And you don't have to worry about locking them um, outside until after it's all the way down. Then what you're going to want to do prior to unlocking your off-door side, you want to unlock this particular one here because you're not going to be able to reach that once you drop this wall over here. So then you just unlock and drop this wall and then that way there you'll be able to go ahead and unlock this particular one. Now prior to doing any of that, there is one other thing that I recommend you do. And that is make sure that you unlock this part here, otherwise you will damage that door. And you'll be able to fold that right down on in there. Now these have the shocks on them, which are helping when you're opening it. But you also have your high wind kit on there. You can use that pole to help you set this thing up. So there you have it ladies, the all new 2020 A-Liner Family by Columbia Northwest. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.